Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rainbow Library. My name is Lee and today I am kicking off the week of reviews for our book of the month. So we chose our book of the month right at the beginning of January and the book that we chose to read was None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio. Now we really liked the look of this book because of the storyline and how it was about a different section that you don't usually hear of within the LGBTQ plus community and that really appealed to us and that is one of the main reasons as to why we chose it. Now the book is about an 18 year old girl in high school and things are going pretty well for her. She's got a really good boyfriend, she's got great friends, it's like coming to that end of year and things are going really really well. This is until one night she notices something about her body which she's never really noticed before. So she goes over to the doctors to find out what the issue is with her body and while she's there she is diagnosed as intersex. Now from this point her life begins to spiral in a way that she didn't think was actually possible and she's been thrown challenges and stuff that she's never really faced before and it is really difficult for her and she's about her dealing with all of these issues. So that was a very brief summary as to what happens in the book so let's get down to some of the details. Overall I thought the book was good for what it was. So for me personally I didn't really connect with Kristen who is the main character. It could be due to the fact that I am a 27 year old male and she's an 18 year old girl but there was something that just I didn't fit with me properly I didn't know why but um I didn't enjoy her character as much as I thought I would. Now, some of the mannerisms that she has and the way that she handles things within the book kind of got on my nerves a little. Again, this could be down to the fact that I'm a 27 year old male and she's an 18 year old girl, so the way we handle things are probably going to be a lot different. But I don't know, there was something I didn't really like about her as a character. Which to me was a great shame because it's told from first person point of view, so when you're reading her story, although you're sympathising with her, I didn't feel bad about what she was going through. And I think the book tried to show that a bit. I think the book wanted to make you feel a bit bad for Kristen and the things she was dealing with. And some of her major issues within the book are things that I wouldn't declare maybe a major issue. At one part she falls out with her closest friends and there is a point where she falls out with her boyfriend and for me, those aren't major catastrophes. Yes, they suck and we've all been through it and it is certainly very relatable, but Again, I didn't feel bad about these things happening. Also, some of the language and the terminology used within the book, um, I didn't really get along with. Like, for instance, there's a part where she says, I am a girl, I like girly things. And for me, I'm kind of like, well, a girly thing is what exactly? Because, you know, I'm not very for, like, gender stereotyping, so saying things like girly things, you know, that may be the author trying to get a specific audience into reading it, I don't know, but things like that, I was just like, Ugh, come on, give me a bit more than that. Not only that, but the book felt extremely predictable. There were some characters introduced into the book which you know very early on how they're going to work into the story and you know exactly what's going to happen with them. And the book as a whole felt like it was something I'd already read just from maybe a different person's perspective. Which is a shame because the book as a whole is quite an enjoyable story, but for me, I just wasn't getting into it as much as I thought I would. Now in terms of the way the book was written, apart from those couple of things like I like the girly things, which I think is more of a character trait. The actual writing of the book it was actually done very well. I thought it explained what it meant to be intersex very well and the author had done some very clear research and got some great terminology in there which I think was very very helpful to the story. And I think as a whole the book has a desired effect which it wants to get you to and I think I got that but for me I knew I was going to get there. It, like I said it was quite a predictable pace. The book has certainly got me interested though in what it means to be intersex and to get me to look deeply into this issue. I'd also be very interested in reading more books with more intersex characters involved. Overall, I'm giving the book a 3 out of 5 stars. I liked the book's topic, I liked what it was touching on, but for me, it did feel a little predictable and the main character I wasn't overly keen on. So please let me know what you think of the book. I think if you're interested in LGBTQ plus issues, I think it is an interesting book to pick up and it will definitely make you want to go and do some more research. Leave some comments down below if you've read the book or what you thought of the book or if you agree or disagree with any of the points that I have made. I'll be floating down in the comments and we can have a little discussion down there. So thank you so much for watching this video. There will be a brand new review video up for you tomorrow. Until then, I've been Lee, we've been the Rainbow Library, and we hope to see you again soon.